Joining me now is someone who knows, unfortunately, all too well how devastating these lockdowns can be. Pastor Brad Wells of Grace Way Baptist Church in Washington, D.C. Pastor, how concerned are you about them locking down your church yet again? Natalie, it's good to be with you here today. And, you know, we're all very concerned. When these mandates came out a long time ago, we were concerned. And now again, after just a breath of freedom, we're very concerned. And, you know, people need to realize the, the church is a living organism. It's not just a building. It's a body. And uh, people need to be treated with, with faith. And science is to be followed. But unfortunately, so often we see shame is the order of the day and fear is the tactic used. What did you see happen in your congregation not being able to have that fellowship in person? Did people really struggle? <laughs> you know, Christianity is, is, a, is a religion of faith. Now, religion is something man does for God, but Christianity is more about a relationship, a relationship to God and a relationship to God. To each other. That's why the Bible declares that we are never to forsake the assembly of ourselves together. So to answer your question, absolutely. People struggle getting together. They, it's not just the preaching and teaching of the Word of God. It's interacting with each other. It's the concept of one hand washes the other. What's your message to people of faith out there that are concerned this is going to come back into their own congregations at least probably this fall? The first, the first thing we need to realize is we do have a responsibility. Nobody needs to give away their responsibility to somebody else. And that's what a mandate does. It says, I'm not a responsible person, and somebody else has to uh, legislate to me what I'm supposed to do. We can't give away our personal responsibility. Right. But the First Amendment is all about our right to freely assemble. Exactly. You know, there's so much talk about the Second Amendment, but that's really to protect the First Amendment. Uh, the First Amendment to get together and, and then we can follow the requirements of Scripture when, he, when the Lord gives us the command uh, to help each other, to work together and to minister together through assembly. Well, God bless you, Pastor, for what you're doing out there. The, the church is the body of Christ, and I know he's still in us. The spirit is still there even when everyone is not together, but it's so important. We can't let this happen to our country again. God bless you. Please keep us posted because especially being near that swamp, you just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Natalie, so much, and I look forward to being with you again soon.